the two mesh gravity virtual lab uh, i have created this simulation which you can do simple exploration in the one dimensional space so in this particular simulation you can see that the masses are draggable okay so you can position the masses position and you can uh, click play to see what happens to the test mass which is shown uh, as the green mass which will slowly gravitate towards either m1 or m2 depending on the physics involved in this particular setup so what are the cool things that you can do with this particular simulation is you could actually select on the drop down menu to select the scale of which you want to draw uh, so what you can do is uh, in addition to being able to vary the two source masses m1 and m2 you can also select a test mass of different values and what will be interesting is you need to show let's see the gravitational field strength of m1 and it will show up as a line over here in dotted line and what about the gravitational field strength of mass 2 so you can see that as you dynamically move the m1 and m2 it actually will vary accordingly to the positions of the various test masses and to see the effect of this you may want to vary the scale of which it is drawn and you can of course finally show the resultant which will be the superposition of the various gravitational field strength at the position adding up together and this is the resultant plot of gravitational field strength now in addition to showing gravitational field strength you could actually also show the potential so in this case the potential is shown uh, and you can see that it's still showing the gravitational field strength so you may want to hide them in order not to confuse the students and now you can see very nicely in a dotted red line the value of the plot of the gravitational potential due to m1 uh, currently set at 500 kilograms which you can change via the drop down menu but i'm not going to show it so you can actually now again show potential due to mass 2 and you can di again dynamically drag the masses and it will automatically plot the values the graphs again and to of course what is typically quite difficult for students to understand is this show resultant which you can now see on the plot so thank you very much for listening to this uh, video cast